I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will understand how to calculate percent change. I have taken an example where we will calculate percent change in the sum and also percent change in the product of two variables. Let's look into the question. P is three times than Q. If P is increased by 10% and Q is decreased by 30%, then find percent change in the sum of p and q and find percent change in product of p and q you can always uh, pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions so let's first do part a which is percent change in sum of p and q Okay, so for finding percent change, we have to find first what was originally there. So we know P is three times Q. So that gives us that initially P plus Q is equal to 3Q plus Q, which is equal to 4Q. Correct? So that is what we have to begin with. We'll call this as a initial condition, as our condition number one. Now finally, what happens? Finally, P is increased by 10%, right? So that means P plus 10% of P, right? That means P plus 10 over 100 of P, which is same as P plus 0 0.10 of P or 1.1 P. Is it clear? So I have shown you a couple of steps in between since some of you might need those steps. But you could directly also write 1.1 P, right? Okay. Uh, as far as Q is concerned, it is decreased by 30%, so minus 30% of q right so that means q value minus 0 0.30 of q right so i'm not writing this step now so you know it remains as 70 percent so the other way is to write 70 percent of q so that is our final value correct now since we know p is three times q i can always replace p with q since we have this condition already given as p equals to 3q right so that's the condition given to us in fact i should call this as my equation number one i'll call that as two right so we'll use one in in this place and then say 1.1p is same as 1.1 times 3q or is equal to 3.3q so we have got both the terms in terms of q does it make sense to you right so so finally sum is what sum is 3.3q plus 0.7q right which is same as 4.0q right so so we get that initially it was 4q finally also it is 4q correct now we need to find percent change percent change is final minus initial that means the change this is the change right over initial whatever we had times 100 so in our case it is 4.0q minus 4q over what we had is also 4q and times 100 of course and what we get this as 0% change so as far as the sum is concerned there is no change right the value of p is increased but q is decreased and so there is no change now let us see what happens to the product of p and q 
on the next page. So in part B, we'll not talk about product. of P and Q. So to start with, what we have, we have P equals to 3Q and we have Q. So the product between P and Q is basically 3Q times Q, which is 3Q square. Is that clear? Correct? So initially, the product is 3Q square. Now, what changes happen? So we have increased P by 10% and as far as the Q is concerned, we have decreased by 30%. Correct? So when you do that change, the value of P becomes 1.1P. The value of Q remains 70% of what it is. Since we know that P is equal to 3 times Q, I will write P as 3 times Q. So I get 3.3Q just as we did earlier. And this value is 0.7Q. So now, uh, final product is 3.3Q times 0.7Q, right? So this is equal to 7 times 321. 7 times 321 and 2 is 23. Correct? Two decimals, so 2.31 q square. Now, initial is 3 q square. Now, we have 2.31 q square. So, we can now calculate the change. So, percent change in product is how much? So, final value, right? Minus initial. That is a change over initial it is very important to always divide by the original amount times 100. So now let us substitute the values. So we have 2.31 q square as the final value. So we can write this as 2.31 q square minus the original value of 3 q square divided by 3 q square times 100, right? So we can use the calculator to calculate this value. We have 2.31 minus 3 equals 2 divided by 3 equals 2 times 100. So we get a change which is negative, right? So minus 23%. So that becomes the percentage change in the value of product of P and Q, correct? So I hope that helps you to understand that when we are given a situation, it is kind of important to understand what kind of change we are looking for and also remember that always the initial amount is placed in the denominator and the formula should be change over. So let me write down the formula once again. So percentage change is change divided by original times 100. Correct? So that is how you should be calculating percent change. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.